a cold whisper in the void. A frozen visitor, climbing out of the distant shadows of the Oort cloud, slowly awakening as it chases the sun into our neighborhood. That is the story of Comet C-2025-A6, Lemon. And tonight, we follow its arc across the heavens. When first spotted by the Mount Lemon survey on January 3, 2025, it was a faint speck, magnitude and 21.5, almost lost in the stars. At 4.5 astronomical units from the Sun, it looked more like a distant asteroid than a comet. But this discovery held a secret. It was a sleeper, traveling a long, ghostly path toward a fiery awakening. Over the weeks and months, more archival images, pre-coveries from November 2024, revealed its path more clearly. Models were built, orbits traced, and early predictions were modest, perhaps magnitude 10 at best. But the cosmos had other plans. As Comet Lemon dove behind the Sun for solar conjunction, astronomers braced for the worst. Many comets disintegrate under such heat stress. But when it re-emerged, it surprised everyone. Its brightness growth was steeper and activity stronger than expected. In mid-August, its coma ballooned, and by late September, it reached magnitude, grew 6.6, barely visible with small telescopes but clearly evolving. The tails grew, the ion stream flickered, and knots of gas drifted away. What's at work here is the relentless heating from the sun. As icy volatiles sublimate, gas and dust drag into space, forming the glowing coma and trailing tail. But this process is capricious, especially in a comet making such a dramatic entry. It's a dance between internal composition, fractures, sunlight, solar wind, unpredictable and alive. Excitement mounts for Comet Lemon's approach. On October 21st, it will pass Joe Point 60 AU from Earth, and on November 8th, it reaches perihelion at 0.53 AU from the Sun. Optimistic models peg its peak brightness around magnitude for 3.5 to 4, a possible naked eye object, though some forecasts remain more cautious. The tension is real. Will this comet deliver the spectacle we hope? Already in October, it's transitioning from the pre-dawn sky to evening views in the northwest after sunset. In mid-October, look near the constellation Ursa Major, just under the Big Dipper's handle, a few degrees below. As days pass, its path carries it near Cor Caroli and Canes Venetici, and then into Bodas and towards Serpents and Hercules. The comet even becomes circumpolar, never setting, for latitudes north of 48 through N by early October. Imagine standing under a dark sky, the Milky Way stretched overhead, faint air cool on your skin. You tilt your gaze northwestward after sunset. There, a faint hazy glow, the ghost of a comet, no sharp point, no stellar pinpoint. Over a few nights, that glow strengthens, the tail elongates, ripples appear as solar wind buffets it. You watch, day by day, as this silent traveler from the deep outer system unveils itself. But there is drama here too. Comets are notoriously unpredictable. A sudden outburst, a fragment breaking off, 
or the interplay of solar wind pressure could brighten or dim Lemon dramatically. The comet could underperform or surprise us all. The forecast is hopeful, not certain. That uncertainty is part of the romance of sky watching. And there's timing. October 21 is not just Lemon's perigee. It also coincides with a new moon and the peak of the Orionid meteor shower. This is a rare cosmic alignment. Two comets, Lemon and Swan, might be visible simultaneously, while meteors streak across the same sky. If conditions are kind, clear skies, low light pollution, and no atmospheric turbulence, amateurs and sky watchers may witness a night to remember. This visitor last passed through inner space over a millennium ago, around the year 629. By the time it returns, humanity may be unrecognizable. Its trajectory, carved by the gravity of Jupiter and the Sun, will be altered. The inbound period of 1350 years is expected to reduce to 1150 years on its outbound leg. In effect, this comet is a one-time guest in our lifetimes. Of course, many will point out that comets have disappointed before. Hopes dashed as brightness fails to match prediction. But for those nights when the tail stretches across a starry canvas, when a faint glow grows visible to human eyes, the payoff is visceral. You feel connected, look upward, a speck becomes a spectacle, an invitation to wonder. So as October deepens, keep your eyes open. Head to dark skies, plan around twilight, and watch for the transformation. If Lemon delivers on its promise, it could be the jewel of the 2025 sky. The comet draws nearer, a wanderer from the frozen edge of our solar system. Soon, if we're lucky, we'll glimpse its light and for a few precious weeks, share the sky with it. Stay curious and keep your eyes turned upward. The ghost of the Oort cloud is stirring, and Comet Lemon may yet become one of the most stunning celestial visitors of our era.